Hi everyone, this is going to be a real quick uh, tutorial on uh, how to view the GDB debug logs in Xcode. I've been getting a lot of questions from people uh, about some of the issues with plugins and just trying to debug things and it's a great help if you know how to view the debug logs in there so you can oftentimes figure out exactly what's going wrong in a matter of seconds. So what we're going to do is just the normal build over here from Unity and just going to append that project and let it build, run the post-process script and open up Xcode for us. Okay, so now our project's built in Xcode and we are going to just click on this button right here in the top left corner and this toggles between the debugger and the project view. So if you keep it on debug view and then click build and run, this is going to go ahead and compile everything, install it on my phone, and you'll start to see in this bottom pane here, logs will start to pop in here. And there is a, every one of the plugins has a ton of good information in here. The more complicated the, more, the plugin, the more information you're going to find in here. So this one is, uh, is the StoreKit plugin, and there's a, there's a pretty decent amount of, uh, of logging in here, and it can help you out with issues such as not having your product set up properly in iTunes Connect, uh, network errors, things like that. And you can actually clear the log, which I uh, often find is uh, makes things more clear. Once it launches, Unity puts all its debug information in there. So I usually just go ahead and clear it. So I start out with a fresh slate here. So first thing I'm going to do is just touch the can make payments. And this is going to be the log here. So you can see StoreKit can make payments true. So that's actually a debug.log from Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the get product data button. And you'll see we get a few more logs here. And we see total products received, three. And we're just going to scroll on down and see, OK, so we have StoreKit product and all the information from it. These are all debug.logs right now from, from within Unity. So now I'm going to go ahead and purchase a product. So I just touched the purchase product one button if you happen to have the store kit plugin and look at that we can see right here store this is the plugin doing some logging now. So you can see store kits in the process of purchasing store kit error cannot connect to iTunes store. So right now my network connection is off so I obviously won't be able to purchase anything. And if I go ahead and try and purchase the second product I'm still gonna get the same error. So one of the things that's important to realize with StoreKit is that the error messages aren't always the greatest. Sometimes you'll get this error, error cannot connect to iTunes Store, and it'll have this second line as well, purchase failed with error. And this is just a StoreKit specific thing, but sometimes that'll actually mean your products aren't set up correctly or your bundle identifier isn't set up correctly. So um, this particular case, the error isn't the best it could be, but you do get the idea here and that we're just talking generally. If you look in these logs here in Xcode and keep this open while you're playing with your, your actual app on your device, you'll find a ton of good information. All right, that's it for today.